Hey what's up guys welcome to this very special Pokemon Go video where I am going to show you how to take on and beat every single gym you face it is so so easy now as you can see this is a pretty stacked gym it's not the most stacked but there's some really good Pokemon in and it was just an easy one to show you with so basically this works by pairing up with as many people on the same team as you can find so you know whether it's you and your partner you and a couple of mates I've only tried it with three people because that's all I've needed to beat all of the gyms that I've faced. But if you've tried it with any more, you do try it with any more, please let me know how many it will go up to because I'm very interested to find out. But I've tried it with three. In this video, we just do it with two phones. So we essentially go to the gym. We pick our Pokemon as I'm doing now. Uh, just make sure that we're ready for the battle. We've got all the ones we want in and in the right order as I'm just sort of sorting out. And you just play basically just press go at the same time so you both go on to the fighting both pick your pokemon and you hit that go button as i have done there and essentially you start off the fight as normal it appears like it's just you fighting all three of their pokemon but as you can see in the background my girlfriend's aerodactyl is there it's doing damage to that hypno and it makes things so much easier i can't stress to you how much easier this is now i would expect to beat that Hypno quite easily with my Vaporeon anyway, but the other Pokemon that are really like you know good that are in this gym and 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 for other examples where you've got really stacked gyms with Snorlaxes, Charizards, I've seen some crazy gyms with super amazing Pokemon. You know, sort of talking 1,500 minimum. Uh, you know, and th this Arcanine is, is is really good there at 1,800, but yet we're destroying it. I still haven't lost my Vaporeon yet when I really should have and that's because we're ganging up on it so the more people you can get as you can see there's a little uh, person and a two um, in the sort of left hand corner just under where my sort of stats are for my Vaporeon and that tells you how many people and you can sort of see uh, the Hypno in the background and if you have multiple people so even more two, uh, sorry like three or four you can see them if you sort of shuffle around as well so they do appear you know everyone's in the gym at the moment I don't understand quite how many the max is so like I said please let me know if you do find out I'll be very interested but as you can see you know it has gone through some of my Pokemon but I've only lost like three you know so I'm on my like third one I think now with, with Cloyster and we're absolutely destroying this Dragonite which is super super good there at 2482 and we won we won the gym it was so easy with just uh, you know using two and there you can see both phones showing the, the U1 uh, sign so it was so easy it was so simple to do it makes battling gyms that have four five six seven you know Pokemon in it extremely extremely good it's so easy to use this method and uh, even if you know the players that you're playing with and you yourself don't have Pokemon that are like necessarily better than what's in the gyms just by sheer numbers alone you were going to take over that gym it's so easy and what's good about this method is that afterwards you can then stack the gym up really good with the prestige so you can all get your uh, you know people in the gym so then you can all claim the prize as well because all you have to do after winning the gym as we're going through now is uh, is put a poor pokemon in there then battle that with one of your Pokemon and just keep going and all of you can battle for prestige as well so it's not just all of you going in to battle the gym to win it back for whatever team you're representing you can also use it so uh, your gym once won will gain prestige in the right way so that you can all get your Pokemon in and all claim that precious Stardust and Poke Coins. So as you can see now, we're just fi finishing off the Dragonite. I mean, like I said, that is one super tough Pokemon. And now, because we've got rid of that first Hypno, I've still got my Vaporeon. Uh, my girlfriend's still got her Aerodactyl, and she's absolutely smashing it. That is one hench Pokemon. And together, we are just making light work of this Dragonite. And uh, once you get the first one or two out of the gyms, depending on how many are in the gym to begin with, I mean it just gets easier and easier so once you clear that first hurdle it is not a problem at all I mix it up and uh, throw in a, a slow bro just because I wanted to use it to be honest so I was a bit bored of using the same sort of Pokemon in there but there you go we absolutely destroyed it in record time so so quick and now all that is left is the Dragonite as you can see again 
both phones display in the U1 uh, symbol and both phones will now show just the Dragonite in there and we'll go again, we're ready to battle uh, healed up all our Pokemon so we're good to go just have to reshuffle again so we've got the strong ones where we need them obviously want the Vaporeon to kick things off and uh, the Cloyster which I've found Cloyster to be a very very good Pokemon I've really actually liked using him I mean his, uh, his 90 big special move is absolutely insane so a really good one to use if you have enough shelters to evolve him into he's definitely worth doing so again like I said it is so easy when you double up, when you put in 3, 4, etc. into these battles. It just makes it, no matter how good the Pokemon that are in there, you will win because you've got the numbers. So it's super easy. It's such a good method to use. I urge you to go out there and reclaim some gyms that you thought maybe were unclaimable. You know, just grab your mates together. Get your girlfriend, your parents, whoever's playing. Make sure they're on the same team, obviously, as you. Go and attack that gym and you will win. And there you can see, I mean, even on my own, I probably might have won that round because I'd have had six on one, but I would never have won it that quickly. It was so easy, so, so quick. And there we have it. So we've we've battled a, a pretty stacked gym. I mean, there are more stacked. This was just a good example, like I said. You know, it was a good one to show you with. Uh, that could be done quite quickly and there you go the gym is ours ready for the taking and we're good to go and claim a gym that probably on our own both myself and my girlfriend would have probably struggled at actually taking so together it was super easy we didn't have to waste loads of revives I mean that's another good thing about this method is you know you won't kill all your revives and potions because you won't need to use as many Pokemons in these battles that's a simple fact you know you're not going to be wasting all of the potions and all of the revives that you would have otherwise because when you have to use more of your roster more of your depth more of that six-man squad you will likely go through a lot more of them and they'll take a lot more damage so overall it's a good method for actually winning the gyms and it's also a really good method for for keeping your items uh, on lockdown and keeping a good bunch of revives and potions ready for when you really do need it so i hope you enjoyed this method guys please share the hell out of it like it subscribe to the channel usually do fifa content but I've, I've delved into the pokemon uh because i've just absolutely loved this game and there you can see both of us in this gym both of us ready to defend it not the best pokemon i'm sure someone will take it very very quickly but it's all about getting in there enjoying the battle and it's about getting that precious, precious Stardust and Poker Coins. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and peace. It probably yeah. Oh my god, you've got a legend! Have I? I've got to! <laughs> I have no idea, but really. Oh, are any of these? Who is this guy? This kind of looks interesting. Oh... Stop with this card looks interesting. Go to the fucking front. <laughs>